Uh, my name is Roberto Garcia from Salina City Elementary School District, Board of Education. Uh, yes, uh, your question about the evaluation of the superintendent, that's up to the Board of Education to make its decision as to where, when, and how it's going to evaluate the superintendent. And as president, um, I will be working with my vice president and uh, the superintendent, and we're going to figure that one out and we present it to the board uh, in the near future. No evaluation has been done in accordance with the contract. I left you a voicemail on July 11th. You didn't return my call until July 30th, and you explained to me on that voicemail that it's at the discretion of the board to set a time, and you would be working with your vice president to determine when the superintendent would be evaluated. And you know, we've come to two or three meetings so far this school year, and we, we still have yet to reveal, you know, learn when, when that evaluation is going to take place. The thing there is I want the school board to hold themselves the same responsibilities as we hold our teachers, as we hold our principals, as we hold everyone in our community. The one person that you hire is the superintendent. When you hire the superintendent, the contract says that he need to be evaluated in April. And I bet you wish, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you wish you would evaluate him in April because a lot of stuff has happened since then. And we've been asking questions about when is it gonna happen? It's at the discretion of the board. Well, you know what? We don't give teachers the discretion to say when you're gonna give a report card, are you? You don't get to decide when you're gonna tell the standards. And you, know, and you need to be very specific because that's what parents deserve to be able to help and be responsible at home. They need to know not just, you know, little Johnny's doing great. They need to know what to work on. We want to have a great report card, absolutely. But we also want to know the truth. And we want to be able to have it in, presented to us in a respectful and clear manner. And what happens at these school boards are not respectful and clear manner. And you need to hold yourself to the same standard and you hold your employees because they would be there would be serious repercussions if they just said, "Hey, it's up to my discretion. I'm going to do it when I want to do it. Whatever. It's my it's my problem." First of all, if we gave him uh, an evaluation in four months, that that doesn't give you time. I mean, people don't evaluate each other in, in the first four months of decision. So we, when we discussed it, we discussed one year. So my understanding from this board is that the evaluation would be in one year. And also, uh, I, I do believe that Dr. Lisa has done a good job. It has fulfilled his, his obligations. So I, I agree with, with Mr. Hoffman, and I would like to make a motion to approve 5% salary increase for superintendent retroactive to July 1st, 2014. Okay. So the deadline the, from the beginning, the, the deadline was at the end of the one year, the which fall. is January. Right. Yeah, it's, 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 it's in the works. Thank you. Sir.